I'm Mark Webber, and this time I'm reporting about the adjustable rear wing and curves. Every time I step on the brakes, the kinetic energy is caught and directed into an electric motor, where it's converted into electrical energy and stored in the batteries. At the push of a button, an additional 80 brake horsepower can be sent to the back wheels. You need the small doses or at once for about 6.6 .6 seconds. Curves can make the lap time quicker by 0.3 seconds. But as a rule, to overtake, you really need to be about 1.5 seconds faster per lap. Since most of the field will use curves, in the race is going to be more of a strategic aid. How do you discharge your curves power over the lap? You might need it for defence, or perhaps keep it for an attack. Curves, of course, is great for qualifying, but it's at its best for the start. Drivers with curves already have fully charged batteries for the start of the race. If a gap appears, you can move out of a more densely packed field more easily, or defend your position in front. In the race, then, curves can tip the scale. Instead of the front wing in 2011, we can change the aerodynamics of the rear of the car. We're allowed to adjust the rear wing, which reduces drag. But only in defined overtaking zones and when you're close enough to the car in front. When you leave the slipstream, you kind of bounced against a wall, a wall of air. The adjustable rear wing can make the car more streamlined and give you about 7 to 13 kilometres an hour more speed.